Hi, my name is Ashton Muse. I uh, use he, him pronouns, and we are part of the GSA. I am one of the co-leaders for November. I'm Connor Ferguson. I, I also use he, him pronouns, and I'm the other co-leader. Uh, I'm Georgia. I use she, her pronouns. Oh, my name is Rich, and my pronouns are she, her. My name is Mandy, and my pronouns are she, her. We have been a functioning GSA here for just over 10 years. Um, it started off as really heavy teacher-led. Um, just because it was brand new and nobody knew what that looked like. Um, but now we have student leaders every month. Um, so we have student leaders that take turns every month. Um, they come up with the agendas. They come up with what they want. I'm here to make it possible. It kind of brings together people that are often feel, could feel lonely. I know a lot of people in the LGBT community often struggle with mental illness um, and that can make them feel isolated and lonely. Just to kind of be in a place with others that are like you can be um, helpful. Support is amazing in this group. Everyone is so loving and supportive towards each other. And the support and love that people bring into this room just channels our energy to bring more into the community. I joined just so I could make more queer friends, I guess, and just kind of associate myself with others that are like me, if that makes any sense. Just be with my people, if that <laughs> makes any sense. I'm, I don't identify with the LGBT community, but I'm just here like to support because um, I do believe there's like um, an oppression towards like the LGBT community and like, yeah, I'm an ally. I like the support and kind of the energy in the room when I walk in. Um, it's just very welcoming and um, everyone's willing to provide advice and help to other people that are struggling or um, just trying to figure things out for themselves. Yeah, some of the stuff we do in GSA is we'll have open discussions where you can either talk or just listen about um, certain queer issues or just like triumphs that we've had lately just about our daily lives I guess. There's a lot of like people who don't know everything like I myself don't know stuff about like half the community and I'm in the community so coming here and learning about it, you know, this is really one of the best parts of my week. It's Trans Awareness Month. We call it Trans Ember. Um, we're doing a clothing swap. We're going to bring in a guest speaker. We're having um, a trans health discussion at some point. One of the things that they're really into is social justice education. Um, so first they educate themselves on the issues that they really want to kind of learn more about, and then they spread the message. And one of the things that they were talking about was that they can't always get clothes that reflect who they are. Sometimes it's economics. They don't have the money to go out and buy a new wardrobe. Um, sometimes it's because they're not their authentic selves at home um, and their parents or guardians don't buy them those clothes um, that reflect their authentic selves. Um, sometimes it's because, well, they're adolescents and growing and changing so that their clothes don't fit anymore and they want something new to freshen the wardrobe. So we're asking anybody over Sackville High, um, and even in our Sackville community, bring in the clothes and we'll distribute them to people who want them. Um, so we'll have a clothing swap in here. People can come in, pick up whatever they want, and then we'll donate the rest probably to Phoenix Center. Growing up in the world and finding out where you belong is hard enough. When you discover that you're not a part of what a majority of the world sees as normal, then that could make things a lot more difficult. And I think the GSA is just normalizing um, being things that aren't necessarily a straight cisgendered person. A GSA should be in every school. But the people of the LGBTQ plus community feel unsafe and scary. we need to, it's scary, it's terrifying. And I think that we should bring awareness to it and bring love and support. And like join a GSA, even if you're like, you don't identify as LGBT, then just being there and supporting them. Just, I think it makes a difference. They get a sense of belonging. They get a sense of understanding that other people know what they're feeling and, and can identify. So when somebody here says to another kid, like, I know how you feel. It's not just a parrot response. It's, I know how you feel. And I care about how you feel. Like to come to a gender sexuality alliance, you don't have to be gay or you don't have to be trans or you, you don't have to be bisexual. You have to be a human being who loves other humans. It's kind of just feeling a part of the bigger picture in a way, um, just feeling like you're contributing to the greater good of uh, LGBT community in your school and, your, and in your community as a whole.
if you're going through a tough time with um, finding out your true self or um, who you sexually identify as or sexually identify with, um, just surround yourself with people that support your decision and make you feel comfortable because it will make your transition um, or like even coming out or just feeling more comfortable with yourself so much better. Well, I've seen kids go through um, and complete high school that I didn't think would. Um, I remember a couple of kids that I had that um, their academic performance was really not spectacular, um, but they got hooked into GSA. And in order to be in GSA, you have to be in good standing. Um, and they maintained that. And they started learning how, not only how did they fit, but why did they fit? And then they also learned this really important skill to stick up for themselves is self-advocacy. So when something didn't fit right, they were able to talk to their peers and they were even able to talk to their teachers about, this is what I'm feeling and this is what I'm thinking and can you help me? And if you can't help me, can you please understand me? Which is so powerful when they have their own voice. And there's like, like I was saying, there's, there's a couple of kids I can think of that that's why they stayed is because they found their own voice. Oh, oh my God. God. Okay, you're amazing.